Very excited to have our next guest on, of course, uh, a former uh, MLB All-Star and recalled back to the big club. We're all pleased to see it. Steve Delabar joins us on Brady and Walker. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us today, Steve. We greatly appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, how do you feel uh, being back? Uh, nobody nobody wanted, uh, uh, you know, you, you especially didn't want to start the season uh, in Buffalo, but uh, but you mu- did you have a feeling that, you know, if you do all the right things and, and things happen with pitching staffs that you, you'd get this uh, opportunity again and you can make the most of it now? Yeah, that's, that was the thought. Obviously, if you if you pitch well, you think you'll be rewarded for it. And, uh, and I just felt like, you know, go down there and spend a few cold days in Buffalo and then <laughs> and then make my way north. How do you feel? And can you compare it with, I mean, obviously, we, we all know what an unbelievable 2013 it was. Uh, 2014 uh, did not go as well for you. And, and you put yourself, how you pitched in Buffalo, how you pitched last night, and, and going into tonight's game. Uh, I mean, how are you feeling in, in re- relation to all of that? I, I can't really compare myself to what I was a couple of years ago. I don't know. Can you uh, compare yourself to a couple of years ago? Uh it's all different. Like you just want to show up every day and feel good each day mm-hmm. and, and hope for the, you know, the best results that day. But um, that's all I'm trying to do is, is just get prepared for each day and, and then go out there. I don't want to compare it to anything in the past or what I did, you know, a couple of days ago. I, you know, I just got to be good today. I, I heard the point on, uh, on, on baseball central here. They were talking about you on, on our radio station. And, and so you're down there in Buffalo and they put in this new uh, turf here. And it's supposed to get faster, but right now it, it drags everything to a crawl. And they were saying, boy, you must be sitting down there in Buffalo watching the highlights and, and the ground balls here and salivating because when you're your best and the ball's diving low and guys are driving into that turf, um, it would make a pitcher like you uh, a better pitcher. You, yeah, you would, you would think that, that it would, it would uh, aid the pitcher. And, and some of those balls here in the past that have been hit up the middle or hitting the gap, those balls are going to are, are gonna skip through and be base hits or, or be extra base hits, and now they're slowing up and yeah. maybe cutting the, the runner off from, from getting that extra base or, or even getting a base hit in the infield. So it plays in the pitcher's favor, but, uh, you know, pitchers still have to make their pitches because once once the ball flies over the infielders, it's still a base hit, and, and that ball is hit pretty hard in the gap. It's still a double. So uh, pitchers still got to make quality pitches and, and try to get guys out. I was going to ask if you were uh, worried about your, I guess, your fate with the organization um, when you didn't come up last September. I was surprised at it. Were, were you surprised at the same time you, you weren't coming up uh, when the AAA season ended? I, I thought I, I thought I could come back up. Um, you know, their their decision was to, to let me go home and get some rest, and mm-hmm. and it actually worked out pretty good because my my son was actually born. Um, on the last day of the major league season and i probably wouldn't have made it home oh. on time uh if i would have been here so it actually worked out okay and, and and then i did get a couple more weeks of rest so yeah looking back it, it actually you know i took full advantage of it so how does this how does this clubhouse feel how did it feel in in dunedin uh you knew what the urgency was like to win in 2013 and, and even when you and brett went to the all-star game you guys have been on a great run going into the all-star week uh and and then it just you didn't get the wins you needed in the next few weeks afterwards and and last year started so well um and we all know how it finished how does does it feel like it's a very much win at all costs atmosphere that that the team will look even that much more different in 2016 if if playoffs aren't there no, oh, you get, for each team that you play on, you have to you have to try to win as many games as you can. And and as far as every night is a must win, it's not that. It's 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 you go out there and you compete and you try to get it done. So you know the other teams trying just as hard. So it's just a competition to get it done. And, and obviously the win column is is what everybody's pushing for. So that's that's what we're trying to do. So I don't I I can't answer any questions as far as the next few years, but, um, you know, we're just looking forward uh, to playing today. What does Russell Martin uh, uh, add? What did you notice in, in spring training? And, and he's obviously hitting the ball a ton right now, too, which is which is great. And nobody was worried about his his, uh, his start. It's it's all about the uh, the end of things after 162 games. What's it mean to have him? Oh, he's a quality guy, um, not just on the field, but off the field as well. I mean, he handles the staff. Uh, he, he communicates real well with, with all the, the pitchers, especially like the first day I met him, he, he wanted to, to know everything 
about how I worked on the mound, and, and um, you know, he, he just develops a good relationship, and he's, and he's easy to talk to, and he's receptive to, to stuff that you have to say, and, and um, he, he's, a, he's a great guy. So uh, it's going it, to, it makes it easier to, to form the relationship with him if he's more likely to, to feed off of you and then, and then go forward. Steve Delbar, our guest. It was great to see you back on the bump last night. We wish you the best, and, and we hope it's for a long, long time. Thanks for doing this with us today. All right, thanks for having me. Or Steve Delabar. Uh, yeah, pitched uh, pitched last night in the seventh inning, uh, one walk in, in the one inning, and uh, didn't surrender a hit.